Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be recovering the Pico Connect changes to increase the maximum resolution and increase the bitrate. This video should hopefully be a lot shorter and we're going to go straight into this. So first of all, we're going to need Notepad++ to do any changes the, the method that I'm using here. So if you haven't already got this installed on your PC, please install this. It is free, it is safe. Um, just Google for Notepad++ and get that downloaded and installed. So first of all, I will say I've already created a text guide to this. So if you want to follow this along in the text format, if you're not English speaking and you can't keep up with how fast I talk, then you can follow this. Um, this video is just to complement this guide. So I'm going to be using this within the video here. I'm going to exactly copy what it says. First instruction we're going to do is go to the Pico Connect install location. For me, I can right click the desktop icon here, go to open file location, go up to the resources folder, find the app.asr file. I need to right click this, go down to properties, go to the security tab, go to my desktop user, which is the bottom one here, click edit, go down to my desktop user again, make sure it's highlighted and tick the box that says full control. This will populate all of these check boxes for you. Make sure you click apply and then OK. Confirm that you can see all of the tick boxes here and just click OK. This will allow the changes to be saved to this file. Now we can use Notepad++ to do the changes. So first of all, I'm going to right click the file and edit with Notepad++. Within this file, as the instructions say, if you click Control and H on your keyboard, it brings you to the find and replace function within Notepad++. So I'm going to revert to the guide here and just copy the values that it tells me here. So these values will need to be copied exactly. Um, there can't be any mistakes or any differentiation um, between them. So as per the guide, I'm going to go to the maximum value of a 3072 up from 2560. The reason we're doing 3072 here is because if you use the H.264 codec, that is the maximum resolution you can have. So if you want to use H.265 only, you can go higher and then that's going to be dependent on the strength of your GPU encoder. So for this video, I would recommend just sticking with 3072. So we can get the values copied in as per the instructions. Click find next make sure it is at least finding the right file to replace it will go green here and we click replace all so you can see that that is just replaced that text line within this file to 3072 so that's the resolution done now we can move on to the bitrate and this is going to be multiple steps here and it's the same situation of just copying the values that we have and using the define and replace function so the maximum bitrate value is 150 within Pico Connect. While H.264 can use more, it can go up to 250 if you're using the H.264 preset. Within um, Pico Connect, if you are using H.265, you can go to 200 if you're using 72 FPS. Um, 90 FPS, it really is 150 for your limit. Unfortunately, this slider is shared between those two codecs, but we are going to change this maximum value to 250. Just be aware it will not be stable if you're using H.265 at 250. So we're going to continue on here. I've got my first values from the bitrate part one copied in and pasted into this final replace function. Click find next and then replace all. Now I can go down and continue. Next one we're going to copy in. into this window and again we're setting a maximum of 250 here find next replace all and continue on and the last one this is the control for the slider we're going to again copy the exact values here if you are going to change the bitrate values every single value has to match so we've done 250 for all of the instructions here as per the instructions if you do want to edit higher they have to be exact so if you're going to 300 Everything needs to be 300 that you replace them with. We're going to go find next. Replace all. And we're done. We can close this window and go to file. Save. Close the notepad plus plus window. And we're going to close Pico Connect. Minimize my instructions here. Now, next time we open Pico Connect. We're going to see the bitrate value is now allowing to go 250 megabytes per second. So, as mentioned, 
only use this with the H.264 preset. If you are sticking with the H.265, then you can obviously go up to about 200 with 72 FPS or 150 with 90. And as per the video in instructions, this ultra resolution is now 3072 up from 2560. So what I can do here is let's just save these changes. Um, restart now is just for when Steam VR is running. I'm just going to jump into the headset here if you bear with me. So I will go back into the window here. And we should still be casting. Controllers. There we go. You should hopefully be able to see me. So we're going to go into Pico Connect. I'm going to connect by USB because it's connected on the on the cable. Um, go into the Pico Connect window and simply start Steam VR. Now, this isn't going to like it because I'm screencasting at the same time. If you've not enabled the metrics, you can hold the free line button on your left controller. Just keep holding that for five seconds or so until you see the metrics pop up. And you can see that I've got currently the H.264 preset at 150 bit rate. While Pico Connect tells you you need to restart Steam VR to do this, you don't need to. If you double tap the free line button again, this will bring you back into the Pico Connect window showing your desktop. I can now make sure that I'm obviously on the H.264 preset. I'm just going to boost this bit right up to the max, um, or at least as much as I can click. Click Save. It will ask you to restart Steam VR. You don't necessarily need to do that. I'm going to click Restart later. Go back into Steam VR, and you can see that my bit rate is now above the maximum 150. Get the Steam VR window out of the way so you can see, and it goes up to 250. Ignore the decoding at the minute. It's because I'm casting. Um, 250 is the maximum stable on the AVC codec, which is H.264. And like I said, if you are going 90 FPS on HEVC, stick to 150. So that's it. We're done. Um, if you want to see how the resolution is changed, um, that is going to be showing within Steam VR. You can check that by just bringing up your normal Steam VR render resolution. It will change 100%. To the 3072 by 3072 that we set. And you can confirm that in your Pico by simply bringing up the Pico metrics if you've not enabled developer mode. That is a separate video. Well, once you've got developer mode, you can bring up the metrics, click cancel, um, and you can see in my metrics here it says 3072 to the headset. That's it. Nice and quick. Hopefully, you can follow that along. Text file would, will be in the video description. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.